Hello, I'm David Chaston with 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, the Bank of England has signalled more money printing to hold up the UK economy post-Brexit. But first, in the US, factory activity in the key manufacturing region of the Midwest surged to its highest level in almost 18 months in June amid strong gains in new orders and production. And south of the border, Mexico has raised its benchmark policy rate by 50 basis points to 4.25%. It said it did so to keep inflation in check, even though they would have preferred to have followed the US Fed's lead. Their problem is, the US Fed isn't leading. In Europe, Standard & Poor's cut its long-term credit rating on the European Union to AA from AA+, but raised its outlook to stable. That puts the EU on the same rating as the UK, but the UK's outlook is negative. The British currency has fallen sharply as the Bank of England said some monetary policy easing will be required post-Brexit. And Germany has rebuffed an Italian government plea to ease EU rules during a Brexit loss of confidence so that it could action a wider bank rescue plan. But time is not waiting for Rome. They've had to bail out a mid-sized bank overnight. Veneto Banker has sought a billion euro from investors to recapitalise, but it got almost zero takers. And China's finance minister has warned that tax collections are running behind forecast and their economy is facing great downward pressure. The Australian election is coming to its conclusion with a vote tomorrow. After decades of crude and bitter battles, this one seems to have been contested with civility, unusual in Australian politics. That's probably because the leaders of both main parties are uninspiring. Both are competent for the job, however. But the lack of political venom in this contest is noticeable and unusual. And Wall Street equity markets are all higher by more than 1% in mid-afternoon trading. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield has held overnight and is still at 1.46% in late trading. Credit risk premiums, however, continue their reductions, even for Australasian investment-grade corporate debt. And the US benchmark oil price is lower today, now just over $48 a barrel, and the Brent benchmark is just under $50 a barrel. The gold price is also lower, down $8 to $1,315 an ounce. And the New Zealand dollar has risen yet again overnight, but only marginally this time, and is now at 71.2 US cents, 95.7 Aussie cents, and 64.4 Euro cents. The TWI is at 75.1. Still, it has been more than a year since when our TWI has been at this level. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.